Hi, welcome to my tube. My name's Marge. I'm a Hilk empath, and I just like having these little talks and the way I feel about things. And, you know, that's why I really try not to have an idea or put a, a, a anchor or an idea, a definitive thought on any kind of outcome. Because, man, because even when you do that, it freaking stuff happens, and you're still like, what? I didn't even see the why, you know? On a large smell, scale and small scales too. Give me an example. I was sitting here and and um, I don't ask too much of mom. I don't ever. You know, I, for 10, 11 years I've provided all the meals. You know, for for the last two I've provided all the toilet flushes but manually by getting the water out of the creek and or collecting the rainwater. You know, so. But every now and again, like, I was laying here this morning, and I got to go do laundry and go to the grocery store in a little while. And and um, I've had a headache the last couple of days pretty gnarly, and it's it's better today. Thank goodness. It's a little better. It's still there. It's just not as bad as it has been, so I'll take that as a win. You know, so I'm laying here. I'm getting ready to, you know, okay, I'm going to do this video. But, you know, and I got these dogs like right next to like on me right so I was like hey mom can you close the door for me and I hear her in there just go ah, shit like you know like totally annoyed and I was like what the frick and I was listening to Maja Astral because I you know it didn't matter and then I got my feelings hurt you know she closed the door then I'm because then then my head goes, all the freaking crap that I do, you know. Don't people want to do favors for you? Not for me. They don't want to do me favors. People don't want to do. People don't want to help me. People don't want to do me favors. It's so weird. I moved away when I lived in Omaha. I thought I had all these friends. I ha thought I had this big old huge fellowship. Me and my friends at Bill W. You know, same. You know, like attracts life. You know, I thought I had all these friends when I left. Uh, no, it's like there's no bon voyage. There is no see you later. There is no just you know. And I talked about moving for a year. You know, I didn't want to be there. They nobody and clearly nobody else did. He wanted me to be there either. You know. And I look at my behavior, and it's just like, well, people don't include me. So why would I want to stay? You know, people don't want to be where they're not wanted. I ain't never really been wanted anywhere. My parents ain't never liked me. I'm an orphan with parents. And I was like, a, I, cause they were, I found out a couple years ago they were divorced already. So I, I was like an afterthought. I was a hookup and then shit, mom got pregnant. And then, you know, here I am and nobody, you know, he doesn't want to. And it's like, and it's like each of them saw my, the other one's face in me and then didn't like me. <laughs> and I'm like, I was just or dude you know and then and then freaking bad stuff happened to me because I mean, like you don't want to be bothered with the kid you don't like the kid you don't really pay much attention to where the kid is you know but I don't know um all this stuff is happening because are all these 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 feelings of emotions that that I have passed through I'm feeling like other people are dealing with them right now I'm okay with mine I'm okay you know I'm because I am grounded in the knowing that my reality only exists in the present it doesn't exist back there of things that happen back there it doesn't exist up there of things that are gonna happen in future timelines the only reality of existence is the reality of each present moment and what you do with that. And I, I thought I used my choices wisely and showed up for people and when they needed me and you know helped them you know do all this stuff. But what that makes you is a servant. Is what that makes you is a servant. There's this big old huge rumbling of of. God enough! Stop acting like these control freak these 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 old paradigms. When are they gonna die? I know they're dying. I've been hearing for a year. Oh, they're dying. The old paradigms dying. The old freaking misogynistic freaking miters. It's all die. When is it gonna die? When is it? When are we gonna be able to say it's dead? So I was listening to Magi uh, astrology this morning. Magali, 
I think that's how she pronounces her name. She's talking about cognitive dis dissonance, and I've been thinking a lot about cognitive dissonance. It's on been on my mind, so it's, you know, it's main theme of the collective. If that's what that tells me. So, by definition, it's a state of having inconsistent thoughts, beliefs, or attitudes, especially as relating to behavioral decisions and attitude changes. That's from Oxford. And they give you examples. Um, one situation is when people smoke, that's the behavior, and they know that smoking causes cancer. That's the dissidence. They're the cognition. They're, according to them, the Cancer is the cognition. So that is the negative part, derivative. Because you think you want to smoke, right? Here's a, uh, is a concept in social, according to this, Wikipedia, cognitive distance, it is a concept in a social psychology. It is a discomfort felt by a person who holds conflicting ideas, beliefs, or values at the same time. Well, mm, so contrary, contradiction, conflicting, hypocrisy, you know? So when people in political powers and whatnot pay themselves 174 tens and thousands, tens, ten, thousands and thousands of dollars a month, while so many people are just going without, that's a great deal of cognitive dissonance. I can see cognitive dissonance everywhere. That's why I don't like going out in the world. And the being an empath, it's freaking extra crappy because people just are not even who they represent, rep, represent themselves to be, you know? So they're, 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 they're trying to pretend to be somebody that they're not, I guess would be a different way to say that. So I go out, you know, and people in their big, freaking $300 puffy coats and their freaking four or $500 handbags and their eighty, ninety thousand $90,000 cars that they're driving around in, they don't really feel worth much at all. And it's plain to see, but they just, so they just show up in the world. Look at me, look at me, look at me. I'm a tiny, tiny person. There's so much cognitive dissonance in the world and and, and if I'm not careful, I can create it too because I see the freaking nonsense. I see where I interpret things out there as nonsense. You know, waste of space is just like, look at what people can have if this wasn't here and all of that. And if I don't focus on my spiritual practice and meditate and just deflect all that, deflect everything, man. Be a spectator without taking on any kind of vibration. Sometimes I wonder if I'm too human. Maybe my human is too grounded in 3D. You know, maybe my spirit isn't substantial enough to to keep the cognitive dissonance at bay. You know, maybe I'm just gonna be jaded in freaking a couple years. Maybe I won't ever get to live where I want to live ever again. You know, maybe I won't, maybe none of my other dreams would ever come true again. Am I going to be okay today with that? I guess so, for now, you know. But I also know that I have the power to change things. And then I understand that, that there's there's cycles and there's, there's, there's patterns and there's constellations in the sky. And they're all saying, freaking just be chill right now, Marsh. Every single one of them. Now we're about, what, we're four days away from Mercury retrograde until March 9th. And then, you know, move forward. And it's, it's, I think it's kind of interesting how people talk about how, um, how, uh, usually the readers and astrologists that I hear, they're like, yeah, you know, don't panic about freaking Mercury retrograde, retrograde. It's not, you know, it's, everything is how much emphasis you put on it. Like, if you put fear, oh my God, then freaking and things are going to happen, you're going to draw things to happen that are going to keep you in that vibrational state of fear. If you're like, okay, Sarah, Sarah, then, you know, whatever. <sighs> Technology breaks when there's not retrogrades, just like it does when there is. It, it's, everything is divine timing, so. But they are saying right now, the, a, a lot of them are saying, but this is the one I wouldn't sign contracts, you know. 
and stuff like that, I probably won't. Shoot, man, my world has gotten so small. I can't believe how world, how small my world has gotten. I've like, there's nobody left. There really isn't. I mean, people pop in every now and again, but man, I wonder if everyone, and if anyone else feels like they're on their own ship out there. You know, most, and I'm not, and you know, because like, some days I don't think mom likes me. And it has nothing to do with me. It's it's something in her mindset, and that's you know. And I just gotta, I gotta not take things personally. And I'm tired of not taking things personally because people have freaking treated me shitty for a long time. And it's like, and I all they've all and people have all, that have never been picked on and have never been treated shitty are telling me, oh, it's not their fault. They don't mean it. <laughs> I'm just like, well, how would you? How would it? But it doesn't take away whether they mean it or not taking the pain out of a hurtful saying it doesn't take that away it doesn't do i mean the dam i mean damage is done you know and, and everybody has damage it's you know people are are supposed are acting going through this world touting acting like nobody's damaged and they're acting like oh i got it all together freaking everybody's damage man the more you look around it's like people got to talk about their damage they can't talk about it because other people will use it as an opportunity to get them and cause harm because people are sick. But that's all I try to do is teach people energy about energy and how to listen to yourself and that freaking life doesn't have to be crap and freaking, you know, it doesn't have to be painful and strife all the time and that you can have positive, joyful experiences. And when life gets hard, then you carry those positive times with you. So, I'm just rambling on. I got stuff to do. I gotta get up and get mom some, I got her some, made her, I had some, I got, she had some rice a little while ago, but I mixed her some scrambled eggs and be on my way. So, give her the house to herself. Let her, you know, remember what it's like. <laughs> I'm not around. So, I don't know. I just don't, I need to do a better job of being a better person. Maybe I'll practice that today. Maybe I'm not being a good enough person to draw good things into my life. But when you've had so many crappy things happen, you know, before you were even like 12 years old, it's kind of hard to pick out the people that are really for you, you know. So, hope you have a rad day. Peace.